Taking you from the College of Southern Idaho Golden Eagle Gymnasium as the Mackey Miners take on the Shoshone Indians this morning in State A4 basketball competition. Uh, George White will be doing the play-by-play, -play, and I'll be handling a little cover and some statistics for you at halftime and at the wrap-up of the ball game. Of course, uh, the pep band playing in the background is that of the uh, Mackey Miners under the uh, direction of the Gilvana. Busy, I believe, and uh, what an outstanding job they've done. We've been listening to that, that band, and the Mackey Minor High School Band is, uh, uh, does a good job. Let's take a look at the starters for uh, Jack McKelvey's Mackey Miners this morning. Uh, at center, he'll go with uh, Brad Rothwell. He's a junior at 6'2". The forwards are 6'1", senior Jeff James, and the 6'1", junior Sean Hughes. The guards, Lance Rosenkrantz, he's a 6'1", senior, and Shane Jarvis, he's a senior at 5'9". Reserves at center will be Darren Anderson. He's a 6'7 sophomore. Also hoping to see some action uh, this morning will be Cody Schmidt, a 6'1 junior. Uh, excuse me, 6'1 senior, along with uh, Dallin Ivey, a 6'0 junior. Scott Burnett, a senior at 6'1. And reserves Stan Lanier, a 6'1 junior. Brad Lamson, a freshman at 5'10. And Darren Morgan, he's a junior at 5'10. Of course, the Mackey Miners overall for the season, they won 18 and lost five. As the uh, Miners return uh, to the playing floor, the uh, Shoshone Indians uh, now go over and uh, talk it over uh, with, uh, with their head coach, uh, Larry Messick, who's been there for uh, 13 years. Let's take a look at the starters for the Shoshone Indians this morning. At center will be Russ Swainston. He's a senior at 6'4". The forwards, Mike Wallace, a 6'2 senior, and Rich Scheimer, a junior at 6'1. At guard for the Shoshone Indians will be Jim Messick, a junior at 6'3, and Clinton Sandy, a junior at 5'9. Reserves for the Shoshone Indians at center will be John Hall, a 6'2 senior. Reserve forwards include, uh, let's see, uh, John. Uh, Mendiola, a six-foot senior, along with Rick Peterson, a sophomore, 5'11", and 5'11", junior, uh, Brian Suruaga. Other reserves, Lane Davis, a junior, 5'10", Steve Bott, a 5'8", junior, and Mike, Mike Romano, a sophomore at 5'8". Of course, the Shoshone Indians, they're rated number one in the state. They uh, went through the season with 22 wins and two losses. Defending champions here, Paul, in the A-Force. Okay. So they are, as George said, the defending state champions, and uh, they beat Mackey in that championship game last year, right, George? Yes, so this is kind of a rematch here in the early going quarterfinals. Uh, of course, we had the, uh, the uh, privilege of uh, doing the Mackey Miners uh, football uh, this fall as they defeated Mullen uh, up in uh, Kellogg and then advanced to that championship game at the Kibbe Dillon Law School, and... Uh, we enjoyed that a great deal, uh, meeting with the coach and the kids and uh, the parents and uh, a lot of fun. The Mackey Miners have been a real treat for us. And to be asked to do this uh, on tape for...
ball as we mentioned it's a rematch of last year's uh, a4 championship game as the Mackey miners come out uh, at midcourt they'll be uh, jumping center brad rothwell he is a junior at 6-2 and uh jumping up uh, for uh show show it will be rush uh, russ uh, swainston so we're set as the officials uh, check with the team captains. The tip controlled in backcourt by uh, Clinton Sandy for Shoshone. Sandy brings it into front court, looks for uh, Messick. Messick, uh, top of the circle, gives off to Sandy here on the right side. Back to Messick. Sandy underneath it goes. Swainson, Swainson shot up and in. Little six foot jumper. She went over uh, Rothwell that time. So the Mackey Miners now. Lance Rosencrantz with it on the far side. It goes to Jarvis over to Rosencrantz. Dumps it off to Rothwell. His shot short off the front of the rim. Rebound by uh, Wallace. Gives it to Clinton and moves it ahead to uh, Messick. Ball slapped out of bounds. Last touched by the Mackey Miners. So Shoshan will inbound underneath their own basket. It'll be the junior Jim Messick. Jump shot good by uh, Wallace. Mike Wallace, a three-pointer. So uh, Shoshone quickly up. Five zip is Rosencrantz. A left-handed dribble in the front court. Sit over here to uh, James. James, uh, top of the circle, gives back to uh, Jarvis. Jarvis shot short off the front of the rim. Rebound by uh, Swainston. Quickly ahead to Meshik. To... Uh, Shimmer, his shot short off the side of the rim, rebound by James. Rosencrantz has it, goes down the lane, pulls up, six-footer, good by Rosencrantz. So Lance puts the uh, Miners on the board. Show showing up, Indians 5-2. As Messick gives it off to uh, Sandy. Sandy here on the right side. High uh, post feed uh, comes back to Messick. Sandy, cross-court pass, goes to Wallace, pulls up. 17-footer, short off the front of the rim, rebound by Brad Rothwell. Good board that time by Brad. Pushes it ahead, deep in the corner it goes to Jarvis. Shot up and in by Brad Rothwell. Good shot that time by Rothwell. Little six-foot jumper. They give it to uh, Sandy. Meshik for two at Wallace. One-point lead, and a turnover on the Shoshone Indians. So the uh, Mackey Miners will inbound it at midcourt. Jeff James will bring it in. Dumps it off to Rosencrantz. Miners a chance to go ahead here now. They're down by one, 5-4. With uh, 5-44 uh, remaining first quarter, Rosencrantz has it. Dumps it back to James, top of the circle. The right side feed goes to Jarvis. Pass underneath, up and in with it goes Sean Hughes. A missed pass there by Rothwell, but dumped it right in the hands of Hughes. Yes. All right. Wallace has it on the far side. There's the Miners up 6-5 now. Meshik, three-point try. Too hard off the side of the rim. Tip back up, but Rothwell comes down with it. Good board that time by Brad. Rosencrantz deep in the corner underneath it. Goes to Hughes again, up and in with it. Good feed that time on the baseline to Sean Hughes, and he has four. Eight, five. Mackey, underneath uh, Swainson, shot up and in with it, baseline feed. Boy, he's tough, the 6'4 senior, four show shown. Mackey with a one-point lead, and uh, Rosencrantz with it, top of the circle, right side feed goes to Jarvis. Back to Rosencrantz, starts a drive, three-point try, Jarvis too hard off the back of the rim, rebound by uh, Messick for uh, show shown. He'll bring it in the front court. Left side feed, Wallace on the uh, deep in the corner by Wallace. 9-8, show showing up by one now. 4-17 remaining. Porter and Lance Rosencrantz has the basketball in front court for the Mackey Miners. To James. Jarvis back to James. James way out in front with it being checked off by Sandy. Jarvis, 15-foot jumper. God by Jarvis. Jarvis with a 15-foot jumper. 10-9. Miners by one. Messick has it. Fakes up the shot. Goes low to Swanson again. Uh, Swainson. Swainson puts it back up and in. 
Missed the first one, got the rebound and put it back up. Swainston now with six. He's tough underneath. Rosencrantz, three-point goal. Rams won't go, put back up by Jarvis. Good by Jarvis. Great shot by Shane Jarvis. 10-foot jumper on the rebound. 12-11, Mackey by one. Wallace has it here on, uh, on the near side. Here's to Messick, back to Wallace. Wallace, three-point try, good. Wallace buries his other three-pointer. He has uh, six or eight make that, and uh, 14 to 12 lead by Shoshone. Jumper by Rotwell, up and in, good. Brad Rotwell, 10-foot jumper from right in front of the bucket. Puts our ties it at 14-14. Messick with a 19-footer short at the front of the rim, rebound, and we have a foul called underneath on Brad Rotwell. So personal foul number one on Rotwell. First team foul on Mackey, and uh, that's the first. Uh, so uh, Schmidt. Schmidt comes in for. Uh, we'll check that. We'll pick up the. Uh, all right. Pass comes in underneath to. Uh, for intended for Lane Davis goes out of bounds or check that for John Hall. That's their second turnover on show show and we'll pick up the reserves for you. Cody Schmidt is in for the uh, and Rothwell is out. Pass comes to Schmidt. Schmidt pulls up six footer too hard off the front of the rim as uh, Mendiola with the rebound who is in there for show show now gives up to uh, Soliaga Soliaga comes back out to Davis Davis underneath to uh, Mendiola his shot uh, misses everything but we have a foul called on uh, Cody Schmidt of uh, Rothwell back in for uh, the Mackey Miners and out goes uh, Shane Davis or Shane Jarvis excuse me Shane Jarvis out Mendiola at the free throw line shooting two free throw up no good popped out of there he'll shoot the second of the two shot foul the foul was on Cody Schmidt the team foul on the Mackey Miners score tied 14-14 Right. Second shot, no good. Rebound on a good board by Rothwell. Gives to Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz pulls up. Good by Rosencrantz, a three-pointer. He buried it from 20 feet away. 204 remaining. Mackey up by three. 17-14. Messick gives off to uh boy. He's really being hounded by Rosencrantz out there. Doing a good job. Taken away by Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz on the break. Goes up on the glass. Good by Rosencrantz. I just mentioned, and show showing once a timeout. We'll do the same. Uh, Coach uh, Jack McKelvey told us uh, earlier that uh, he was going to have Rosencrantz on uh, Messick, try to hold him down as Jim Messick averaging uh, about 21 points uh, per game for show shown. And he has not scored uh, yet. And uh, Lance Rosencrantz was seven after a three pointer and just uh, seconds ago. Uh, picked up that steal. That was uh, Show Jones' third turnover, and Rosencrantz uh, turned it in uh, to uh, two points and put the uh, Miners up with their biggest lead, 19-14. Of course, it's interesting the Show Jones Indians only have two uh, two in the scoring column at this point. Just Wallace and uh, Swainson. Swainson. Swainson with six, and Wallace with eight. All right, as, uh, they've really uh, shut down. Rosencrantz really shut down Jim uh, Messick as the Miners with uh, four people scoring. Uh, Sean Hughes has uh, four, and uh, Rothwell four, Rosencrantz with seven, and Shane Jarvis with four. So good, uh, even balanced scoring for the Mackey Miners as Wallace has it in front court. The uh, my, uh, the uh, Indians trying to slow it down a little bit now. Gives to Soliaga, deep in the corner on a fake to Messick. Messick underneath to uh, Soliaga, taken away by Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz, the left-handed dribble, dumps it off to James Good, Jeff James. Boy, a good feed that time by Rosencrantz. 21-14. Jeff James now in the scoring column with his two. So all the starters now have scored for Mackey. As Messick 
Shot in and out, won't go, put back up. And, uh, too hard off the glass, but let's see. Swainston, he was fouled. Let's check the foul. Was on uh, Lance Rosencrantz. So first personal on Rosencrantz, third team foul on uh, the Mackey Miners. Swainston at the free throw line. This is his first attempt. Free throw, rolls around, drops through. He'll shoot the second. Has uh, seven now, 21-15. Swainston ready. Second shot. Uh, hits nothing but net. 21-16. Miners with a five-point lead clock. One minute remaining first quarter. Main round of the A4 state tournament. Here from uh, College of Southern Idaho, James shot to short to front of rim, rebound. Let's see, it'll go uh, on the, uh, was not in control, so it was uh, batted out of bounds, last touch Mackey. So the Shoshone Indians will uh, inbound it. Sandy will bring it up, uh, Clinton Sandy for uh, Shoshone. Looks a high post feed, Messick, Messick off the glass, no good, but he was foul. Let's see, I believe it was on Rosencrantz. If it is, Lance picked up his second. Boy, he has been all over Messick so far. So Rosencrantz picks up his second. 14 foul on Mackey. Here with 36 seconds remaining first quarter. And the, uh, the line, Jim Messick, coach's son at the free throw line. First shot, no good. She is... Uh, Indians are two of five from the uh, free throw line. Second one, it's uh, good, but let's see. We have a substitution. Into the game for the Indians, number 30, Rich Scheimer. Rich, uh, all right, Rich Scheimer in uh, to the uh, lineup now for Shoshone. For uh, Jim Messick, Messick out as uh, Rosencrantz doing an excellent defensive job on him in this first quarter. Clock down to 25 seconds and uh, Coach McKelvey wants to run it down to the last shot. Is that Rosencrantz has it out in front, Hughes. To Rosencrantz, way out near the timeline to James. Clock down to 13 seconds, 12, 11. Hughes deep in the corner, Rothwell back out. Rosencrantz drives, pulls up, 15 footer. Too hard off the back of the rim. 21, 17, four point lead. We have a foul called on uh, James coming over the back of Clinton Sandy. So James picks up his first and the 15 foul and the Shoshone Indians uh, yet to commit their first personal and uh, Shoshone now in the one and one bonus with two seconds remaining in this first quarter Mackey with a 21 17 lead and Clinton Sandy at the free throw line for the Shoshone Indians shot uh, rolls around drops out of there rebound fought for comes off of the back of uh, Schmidt goes out of bounds. That's the end of the first quarter. And a well-played first quarter for the uh, Mackey Miners as they uh, really uh, hung in there. And they uh, have to be impressed with the defensive work of uh, Lance Rosencrantz on uh, Jim Messick of the Shoshone Indians in that first quarter. 21-17, a four-point lead for the Mackey Miners as Coach Jack McKelvey uh, We'll make some substitutions now, I believe. We will pick those up for you. Uh, second quarter uh, action, I believe. Uh, Mackey will inbound the basketball to start this second quarter. As Darren Anderson checks in for Mackey, along with Darren Morgan. Rosencrantz, here to James, underneath Rothwell, good feed. Shot won't go, rebound by uh, Morgan. Morgan to Anderson, has it slapped away by Wallace on the turnover. Show show, and we'll bring it into front court, Clinton Sandy. Sandy pulls up, cross court pass, Wallace sets, three pointer, good by Wallace. Mike Wallace now with 11, 21. Brings Show show back to within one. As Rosencrantz has it, dumps it off to Morgan. Far side, James, top of the circle, drives down, free throw line, pulls up. Low post speed to Rosencrantz, off the glass, two of hard, 
A little off to the side of the rim, picked up by Messick. Clinton back to Messick. Messick in the front court. Sets, pulls up, cross court pass. Goes out of bounds, uh, intended over on the far side to Davis. Fifth turnover on show shown. So the Mackey Miners will inbound it. Darren Anderson, 6'7 sophomore, will bring it in to uh, Rosencrantz. Lance will uh, bring it across the timeline in the front court. Dumps it off to uh, Morgan. Morgan looks for Roswell, top of the circle to James. James on that left side, drives to the baseline, pulls up, six-footer, God. Jeff James, 23-20. And Mackey by three now with 6.44 remaining second quarter. Show showing has it Wallace. Clinton back to Wallace, underneath on the low post feed, Swenson his shot short, Anderson with the rebound. Darren Anderson, 6'7", sophomore, coming down with the rebound. It's to James. What Rothwell pulls up, 15-footer. Good by Rothwell. Brad Rothwell with his sixth. Mackey up by five, 25-20. Clinton, Wallace. Wallace over on the left side. Comes back out on top to Clinton to Wallace. Deep in the corner it goes to Messick. Underneath Swenson, taken away by Rosencrantz. Six turnover now on Shoshone as Rosencrantz has it top of the circle for the Mackey Miners. It's over on the far side to James. Back out in front uh, underneath feet uh, to Rothwell. Jumper short off the uh, side of the iron. Picked up by uh, Sandy for Shoshone. Messick. Messick to Sandy. Underneath Swainson. Swainson off the glass. Short. Anderson. No, it's uh, Rosencrantz. Finally comes down with it. And a foul, a reaching in foul on Messick, I believe. Was on. Let's pick up the foul. Jim Messick, first personal, first team foul on Show Shown. So Messick picks up his as Cody Schmidt comes back, playing on that uh, very tender ankle out there. Three-point land, James, too hard off the side of the rim. Wallace with the rebound for Shoshone. They're the defending champions, but boy, they're in a dogfight here with uh, Mackey Miners. As uh, Sandy has it, gives to Wallace. Messick, Messick has a ball slapped away by Rosencrantz. A sh shot short, uh, rebound by uh, Schmidt. Schmidt gives it back to Rosencrantz and Lance will walk it in the front court. Now he picks up the uh, dribble, gives to uh, Jarvis. Shot in and out by James. Uh, too hard and we have a foul on uh, Cody Schmidt, I believe, coming over the back of uh, Clinton Sandy. That's uh, Cody's second person. Going to the line, shooting a one and one will be uh, Clinton Sandy. He is uh, 0 for 1 from the uh, free throw line. 25, 24, 49 remaining second quarter. Mackey Miners with a five point lead. Clinton Sandy, the 5'9 uh, junior, the free throw line for show shown. Free throw, no good. Rebound by uh, Jarvis. Or check that, Darren Morgan. As the pass goes underneath for James. Oh, that was, uh, that was bucket but the and let's see show showing what's the timeout we'll do the same 432 remaining in this first half it's a Mackey Miners 27 the show showing Indians 20 big seven point lead as the uh, Mackey Miners uh, great defensive job uh, on the show shown uh, Indians they're a high scoring uh, ball club and uh, Mackey right in the middle of this thing. This is a big, big ball game here. In the opening rounds, as we mentioned, uh, these are the two teams that uh, faced one another in the state championship in 1987. So 432 remains here this morning in this uh, opening round, A4 state tournament on the uh, campus of the uh, College of Southern Idaho here in Twin Falls. So let's see, Shoshone will uh, inbound it for uh, Shoshone. Messick has it. 
Rene, far side, boy. He gives it off to uh, Wallace, I believe. Put back up and in by Rich Shimmer. So Shimer has it. Goes in Krantz, gives it off to on the far side. Jarvis drives down the lane, six footer, too hard off the back of the iron. Has the rebound. Let's see. It goes uh, to Rosencrantz as uh, Clinton knocked it out of bounds and uh, Swainson, Russ uh, Swainson is down right underneath the bucket, gets back up as uh, Coach uh, Messick comes out to check on him and they're going to take him out of the ball game. John Hall, 6'2", senior, checks in as uh, Jeff James will inbound the basketball for the Mackey Miners. Miners with a five point lead. Pass comes in, turn it over as they try to get it to Schmidt right underneath the bucket. Picked up by uh, Sandy. He gives to Messick, to Sandy, back to Messick. Breaks up the shot, boy, and there's Rosencrantz. Messick, this time too hard off the back of the rim. Schmidt with the rebound for uh, the Miners. Ball knocked out of bounds, last touched, uh, show shown, so the Miners will inbound it. The Miners will inbound it as uh, nobody was in control and it went out of bounds. Last touch, show shown. Pass comes in, Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz, top of the circle. Pulls up. Putter too hard off the back of the rim. Rebound by uh, Rich uh, Scheimer for uh, show shown. Gives to Messick. Back to uh, Wallace. Wallace. Cross-court pass goes to uh, Brian uh, Soliaga. Soliaga with his uh, first two, 27-24. Mackey, Miners, by three. Rosencrantz underneath. Cody tried to hit Schmidt, and uh, Cody wanted, uh, and I'm sure he can get up higher than that if he just was not on that uh, badly sprained ankle. And uh, Schmidt firing the uh, ball club up as he goes down the other end of the court. All right, Messick has it. Gives off to Wallace. Wallace three-point land. Rams won't go. Rebound fought for. Picked up by Rosencrantz. Boy, Lance really coming out of the pack that time. Gives it to Schmidt back to Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz in the front court with it. Underneath it goes to Rothwell. Rothwell off the glass. Too hard, but he was fouled by uh, Swainston. Russ Swainston picks up his first personal. That's only the second team foul. I believe uh, Brad was in the act of shooting, so Rothwell at the free throw line for the Mackey Miners. 2.39 remaining, second quarter. Mackey up 27-24, and uh, Rothwell with six points on three field goals. This is his first attempt from the charity stripe. He's ready, first shot good by Rothwell, 28-24. The Miners shooting there. That was their first free throw. As the uh, show shown has been there eight times. Only three of eight. Second shot good. Nothing but net for Brad Rothwell. 29-24. Mackey back to that five-point lead. Messick with a three-pointer. Partially blocked by Rosencrantz. And let's see who had the... We have a foul call. No, they say last touch. Last touch by Brian uh, Soliaga of uh, show shown. And uh, let's see who come down off of the uh, boards. I believe it was Rothwell as um, Jack McKelvey out there. As uh, Anderson, Darren Anderson into the lineup, replacing Rothwell. Boy, uh, Brad really uh, crashed into that pad underneath the bucket. They certainly hope it looks to be okay. But, uh, Coach McKelvey wants to rest him a little bit here with 2.25 remaining second quarter. Rosencrantz has it in front court. Dumps it off on the far side. Jarvis out in front. It comes James. James three-pointer. Good. Oh, boy. It popped in. Almost popped out. But it went down. Nothing but net. Jeff James. 32-24. The Miners with their biggest lead now at eight. Swainston off the glass. Too hard. Rosencrantz with the rebound. Good position by the Miners on the boards here. This first half, Rosencrantz turned around, six-footer, short out the front of the rim. Rebound, fought for, and Swainston comes down with it. Boy, he looks like he's tired out there. 
as the Mackey Miners like to run that basketball. As uh, Sandy's shot won't go, Rosencrantz on the uh, floor with it, along with uh, Soliaga, and they say alternating uh, possession will go to Shoshone. Oh, the Miners, uh, they uh, come out here ready to play basketball here this morning. They had the eight-point lead with a minute 39 remaining first half. So Shoshone, the uh, number one ranked team in the A4s, uh, with the basketball. And they're in a dogfight here with the Miners of Mackey. Swainston shot won't go, and Cody Schmidt comes down with it. <laughs> so let's see a foul. Soliaga with the uh, foul. Third team foul on uh, the Indians of Shoshone. Rosencrantz has it in front court for uh, Mackey. Dumps it off to James. Fakes up the shot, drives the baseline, goes up off the glass. God! Oh, nice move by Jeff James that time. James in double figures. With 11. Sandy has it. Biggest lead at 10 now. It's taken away by James on the turnover. Jeff's going to take it all the way down off the glass. Wouldn't go, but we have a foul. So let's see. It'll be on Wallace or check that. It'd be number 14, Mike, well, Wallace. Mike Wallace the foul so that's a third team foul or first personal on fourth team foul or the officials confirming Jeff James in the act of shooting so James will be at the free throw line in the game for the Indians number 32 Jim Messick all right, the uh, Mackey Miners really running that basketball, and uh, Jeff, James. Jeff James at the free throw line. He has 11. James readies himself at the line. First shot too hard off the back of the rim. 57 seconds remaining. Great first half for the Mackey Miners. They have Shoshone down by 10, 34-24. James ready for the second one. Rolls around, drops through. 35-24, James now with uh, 12. Messick, top of the circle, gives to uh, Sandy. Back to Messick, Messick forces one up short off the side of the rim. Anderson with the rebound. Young sophomore, 6-7. Playing it well in there for uh, Rothwell. Clock down to 36, and I believe the Miners will want to run a little time off the clock now. 11-point lead, 35-24. Jeff James has it. Dumps it off to Schmidt. Schmidt to Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz gives to uh, Jarvis. To Anderson. Anderson has it slapped away. Picked up by uh, Sandy. Dumps it over to Wallace. Wallace off the glass gut. So Wallace now with uh, 13 for Shoshone. 35, 26, Rosencrantz, 15 footer, too hard off the back of the iron. Tip back up by Anderson, uh, too hard off the glass. And that's the end of the first half of play here from uh, the College of Southern Idaho Gymnasium here in Twin Falls, A4 State Tournament. The halftime score, the Mackey Miners 35, the Shoshone Indians 26. The Mackey Miners uh, doing what they uh, uh, wanted to do, uh, run that basketball and uh, fast break the uh, Shoshone Indians at uh, first half. And they uh, certainly uh, done that on uh, several occasions. And the uh, outstanding defensive work of uh, Lance Rosencrantz. Of course, all the kids playing great defense. But Rosencrantz uh, on uh, the high scoring uh, Jim Messick, and uh, Messick uh, has, I believe, one point in this uh, first half, a 21-point average per game, uh, Messick. And uh, he, uh, the last two shots have uh, really put him up in a hurry, so that shows the uh, outstanding defense of the Mackey Miners. As uh, we have the uh, Shoshone Indian, uh, I believe, 
out on the uh, court right now. Entertaining this large crowd on hand here for this second game of the uh, uh, A4 State. The very personal Blaine McAnally principal of Mackey comes to and uh, comes by the booth here. Blaine, uh, as we have worked with him during the uh, football broadcast, and happy to uh, do this for the uh, Mackey Miners. As the uh, halftime uh, score once again, Mackey 35 and show shown 26. The Mackey Miners, as uh, Coach McKelvey uh, told me with the uh, loss of uh, Cody Schmidt and uh, the sprained ankle, uh, really uh, struggled in that district tournament, but uh, here in the uh, state tournament in this opening round looked very good in this first half of uh, basketball. They lead it 35 to 26. We mentioned the drill uh, team from Shoshone out on the court right now. So I'm going to turn it over to Paul Robinson with some halftime stats. Okay, George, let's take a look at these scoring for the Shoshone Indians and their 26 points. Uh, they're led by Mike Wallace, who has 13. He has those on uh, five field goals. Three of those, uh, the three-point variety, he has one foul. Then Russ Swainson, in the starting center, 6'4", senior, has eight points on three field goals. He won the foul line twice, hit on both of those. He has one foul. Then uh, Rick Scheimer has two points on one field goal, no fouls. Brian Soliaga off the bench has two points on one field goal, one foul. And Jim Messick has one point on one for two from the foul line. He has one foul. Uh, Clinton Sandy did not score in the first half, went to the foul line twice, missed on both of those, and he has no fouls. John uh, Mendiola also went to the foul line twice, missed on both his attempts, and uh, he has no fouls. Let's see, uh, team fouls, uh, they had four, as opposed to six for the Mackey Miners. Uh, show show and Indians took 29 shots on the floor in the first half. They hit on 10 of 29 for about 34 and a half percent. Uh, they went the foul line eight times, hit on three of eight for about uh, 32 and a half percent, 33 and a half percent, rather. Uh, turnovers, they turned it over seven times. And the rebounds, we have unofficially with 16. Leading rebounder in that first half was Russ Swainson, who had six for Shoshone, followed by Wallace with three. Uh, Clinton Sandy had two. Rich Scheimer had two. And Mendiola had one. Uh, Jim Messick, he had the two. But the, the big key to the first half, they've held uh, Messick to only one point, one of two from the foul line, and he has one foul. Now for the Mackey Miners, leading score at halftime is uh, quarterback Jeff James, right? What a ball player he is. He's got 12. He's got those on five field goals. One of the three-pointers. He's one of two from the foul line. He has one foul. Then uh, Brad uh, Rothwell, 6'2", uh, junior center, has eight points on three field goals. He's a perfect two of two from the line. He has, he has seven points on three field goals. One of those from three-point range. He has two fouls. Shane Jarvis, four points on two field goals, no fouls. And uh, let's see. I believe that's... Uh, it for no Sean Hughes four points on two field goals no fouls uh, rebounder leading rebounder pretty well balanced for Mackey in the first half we've got unofficially Rosencrantz with four Darren Anderson came in off the bench has three Brad Rothwell has three Cody Smith off the bench has three Shane Jarvis with a couple Jeff James with one uh, team rebounds I've got Mackey unofficially with 17 as opposed to 16 for Shoshone Mackey uh, unofficially took 33 shots on the floor as opposed to 29 for Shoshone, so they outshot him by four. Mackey hit 15 of 33 for 45.4%. Much better shooting than Shoshone, who only hit 10 of 29 for 34 and a half. From the foul line, Mackey again shooting better. They went there four times, hit of three, on, three of four for 75%. Shoshone three of eight for about uh, 32 and a half percent. Turnovers, we've got four for Mackey, seven for the Shoshone Indians. It's halftime, and the halftime score the Mackey Miners 35 and the Shoshone Indians 26. We'll be back with uh, third quarter action. Uh, right, the pass comes in Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz being checked off by uh, Clinton Sandy. Uh, Rosencrantz, top of the circle. 
Over to it, Jarvis. And let's see, we'll have a ball thrown. Somebody was, uh, oh, it was kicked. All right. Ball was kicked by Shoshone. Pass comes in, Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz, top of the circle. Yeah, Left-handed dribble gives to uh, James over on the far side. James to the baseline. To Rosencrantz, has it taken away by uh, Scheimer. Scheimer set over to Messick. Messick deep in the corner, being checked off by James. Puts the shot up now. Rebs won't go. Swainson put it back up, won't go. Back up this time too hard. Rebound, fought for, put back up by Messick. Short, and we have a foul call on Shane Jarvis. Jarvis picks up his first personal. And uh, Messick will be at the line shooting two, I believe. Boy, uh, Joe Schoen had about five shots at it. And at that time, uh, Swainson put it up three times, could not drop it down. Messick put it up a couple of times, did not get the bucket. As uh, Messick uh, first shot popped in and out of there. And they are uh, three of nine from the free throw line as a team. Messick ready, has one point, make that two now. It's a 35 27. They, uh, Mackey Miners, by eight, Rosencrantz in the front court with it, dumps it off the left side, James. Jarvis over to James. Being checked off by Messick. Messick, uh, James loses it, the dribble, and is picked up by Messick. Sandy back to Wallace. Uh, it was a turnover on Mackey. Shot by uh, Swingston. High off the glass, but it dropped through. 35-29. Rosencrantz says something to the official, and uh, we're going to have a whistle as uh, James, I think, got poked in the eye. Ball on that... Uh, when he uh, lost the dribble that time, as Rosencrantz was getting the officials' uh, attention, that uh, James, I believe, is going to have to set down. Cody so Cody Schmidt checks in for uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff James. All right, uh, Jarvis. Pass comes in, Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz. To the top of the circle. He almost lost it, but it's picked up. Looked like a reaching in, and that's all the Rosencrantz. He put it up that time as he was starting to, uh, looked like he was going to uh, lose the dribble. Shot to by Messick over the back of, I believe, Jarvis. Rosencrantz uh, very alertly on the play just before that, put the ball up, to the, tried to uh, get the shot off, and... Uh, Let's see, Brian Osalaga into the uh, for Messick. So Messick sets down, and he has not had a field goal yet. Only two points, 35 29. Mackey Miners by six. Jarvis has it underneath. Rothwell turn around, 10 footer short off the side of the rim. Swainson with the rebound for uh, the uh, Shoshone Indians. 6 uh, 10 remaining, third quarter. Wallace has it out in front. Drop to Clinton. Has it taken away on a good uh, play by uh, Hughes. And Rosencrantz checks with the bench for the play. Backs down, goes down the lane. Six-footer. God, Lance Rosencrantz has nine now. Boy, you talk about a floor leader out there. Osalaga won't go. Wallace with the rebound for Shoshone. Underneath, Swainston. Turn around. He's triple team. We have a foul called on uh, Shane Jarvis. Jarvis picks up his second personal. So uh, Mendiola checks in, and uh, Clinton Sandy sits down as uh, Coach Messick tries to get some height into the uh, Game now with 534 remaining third quarter, 37-29, eight-point lead for the Mackey Miners. The line, Russ Swainston, two for two. First shot, no good. They are uh, three of 11 now from the free throw line. They show showing Indians. All right, Swainston's second shot, it's good. 37-30, Miners with a seven-point lead. 5-30 remaining third quarter. Quarterfinals 
opening round of the A4 uh, state tournament here from uh, College of Southern Idaho. Jarvis with a three-pointer. Jarvis. Boy, here's just popped a twine from about 20. 40-30, 10-point lead for the Mackey Miners. Deep in the corner, Asalaga gives to Wallace. Wallace over to Mendiola. Mendiola shot up front end with it. They believe it was before the shot. Let's see. No, they waved off the basket that time. So Mendiola will not get the uh, basket. And let's see, first personal on Sean Hughes. Third team foul on the Mackey Miners. 5-0-1 remaining as uh, Hughes checks out and Jeff James checks back in the uh, Mackey lineup. As Wallace almost walked with it, looked like he did. Uh, Osalaga put it uh, back up, no good, but it was put back up by Russ Swainston. 40-32, eight-point lead for the Mackey Miners and Rosencrantz. Deep in the corner, James fakes up the shot, now goes up with it, 15-footer off the side of the rim, rebound. Why uh, show shown? Scheimer to Mendiola. Mendiola out in front with Wallace and throws it away. It'll go in the backcourt. Turnover number nine on show shown. So the Indians, uh, as Coach uh, Messick uh, over on the bench. So Anderson checks in and uh, he is in for uh, Hughes in the uh, Mackey lineup. Rosencrantz has it. James has it taken away by uh, Scheimer. Rich gives it off to uh, Wallace. Wallace into uh, front court with it. Dumps it off to uh, Mendiola here in the uh, baseline feed. Won't go. James with the rebound. Has it knocked away by Scheimer. His shot rolls around and drops through. 40-34. Rich Scheimer has the Mackey Miners won a timeout with 4.05 remaining. In the third quarter, the Mackey Miners with a 40-34 lead over the Shoshone Indians as the Mackey uh, Miners uh, coach uh, Jack McCovey wants to uh, settle the kids down just a little bit here. It's a very important game. This is one of the biggies here in the A4 uh, state. As we mentioned, the two teams have played for the championship last year and they're matched in the opening round here as uh, one of them will have to uh, play in the uh, consolation bracket starting tomorrow. The, right now, Mackey Miners on top, 40-34. 4.05 remaining third quarter. And Mackey will have the basketball along their baseline. All right, pass comes in to uh, Rosencrantz. Exactly. Clock running now as Rosencrantz is it to James on the left side. Comes top of the circle. Back to Rosencrantz. Pulls up. Six footer uh, and it knocked away on a foul by Wallace. So Mike Wallace picks up his second personal. Going to the line will be Lance Rosencrantz. Or first personal. Second team foul. Second personal on Wallace. Second team foul on uh, Shoshone. Rosencrantz at the free throw line. Could go into double figures right here and he does. Lance now with 10. 41-34. He could bring that lead back to eight with uh, 52 remaining third quarter. Rosencrantz ready at the line. Shot on its way short up the front of the rim. And Lance just wipes his hands off and uh, so shown will inbound it on the side in their back court. Jim Messick will bring it in to Wallace. Messick, their leading scorer. Boy, he has been shut down all afternoon. And Rosencrantz right back on him. Swainston turned around, six footer, rolls around, won't go. Schmidt with the rebound, and we have a foul called. I believe it was on uh, Mendiola. So uh, John uh, Mendiola. John Mendiola, first personal, third personal. It's his first personal. 41-34, 3.35 remaining third quarter. Rosencrantz with it in front court for uh, Mackey. Set to uh, Jarvis. Schmidt, Schmidt uh, off the glass, too hard. Rebound, fought for, picked up by uh, Messick. 
for Shoshone. Messick set off to uh, Mendiola. Mendiola has a offensive foul called on John Mendiola. So let's see. That'll be his second. Fourth team foul. So okay, let's see. I believe it was it. Would be two, two free throws. So it uh, looks like a technical foul called on a show show and bench. Jeff James at the free throw and boy he drilled it. 42-34, eight-point lead. So it's a technical foul called on the show shown bench. As the uh, coach Messick uh, come up and said something to the official second free throw, no good by James. So uh, the Mackey Miners will inbound it at midcourt. 3.15 remaining third quarter. Mackey on top, 42-34. Jeff James will inbound it at midcourt for the Miners. Brings it in to Lance Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz, top of the circle, gives off to James. James to Rosencrantz. Oh boy, did they make that. The old give and go from James to Rosencrantz. Boy, that Rosencrantz is quick going down that lane. 44-34 by 10. Messick finally hits a uh, field goal. Jim Messick, 44-36. Schmidt has it, dumps it off to Jarvis. Jarvis uh, decides against the break, comes back out on top to Rosencrantz. Deep in the corner, it goes to Anderson. Anderson, top of the circle, James, three-pointer, God! Jeff James, 47-36. The Mackey Miners by 11. 2.28 remaining. James just dropped in a 20-foot bomb. And right back the other way goes Scheimer with his sixth, 47-38. Boy, great basketball game here. This morning in the A4 State Tournament. Pass comes to James. James breaks up the shot. Goes to Jarvis at the baseline on the near side. Turn around, eight foot jumper short. Rebound by Wallace. Pushes it ahead to Messick. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch, uh, Mackey. So, Joe Schoen will inbound the basketball. Hughes checks in for Jarvis. And Rothwell checks back in for uh, All right, uh, pass comes in to uh, Wallace, to Messick. Messick shot too hard off the back of the rim. Picks up his own rebound. Messick, deep in the corner, it goes to uh, Swainston. Swainston shot up and in with it. Goes Russ Swainston. Swainston. Swainston with two, 47-40, a minute 35 remaining. Pass on the far side, James. James to Rothwell. Turn around, jumper, good by Rothwell. 49-40. Mackey by nine. Great shot by Rothwell. Wallace shot short out the front of the rim. Rothwell with the rebound. Hands it back to uh, <clears throat> Rosencrantz. Lance will walk it into front court for the Mackey Miners. Up by nine, 49-40. Underneath, uh, Roswell tried to get it to James, picked up by Messick, and a blocking foul call. Oh, boy, that's going to hurt. Third personal on Rosencrantz. And Lance, he didn't want that one, but there was just nothing he could do about it. And that's a call that uh, one of those that could have gone either way. All right. Shoshone will inbound it. Each team now with four... Uh, Personals clock down less than a minute, 55 seconds, taken away by the Mackey Miners on a turnover. James, he dumps it off to Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz. In the front court with it. Playing with three personals now. He's going to have to watch it as uh, Hughes has it. His two, Schmidt. Clock uh, run down to 30 seconds. Rosencrantz off the front of the rim. Rebound uh, by uh, Scheimer. To Clinton ahead to Messick. Messick. To uh, three point goal by Messick. Short, put back up by uh, Soliaga. So 
Soliaga gets the uh, bucket. And he'll go to the line. Sean Hughes, second personal on Hughes. As Anderson, Darren Anderson checks in for Cody Schmidt. Boy, that uh, Cody Schmidt playing on a lot of hard out there with that bad ankle. A great competitor. All right, uh, Soliaga's free throw good, 49-43. Rosencrantz has it. Still in the front court. Dumps it underneath. Up and in with it goes Sean Hughes. Great feed from Rosencrantz. 51-43. Messick's shot. Front of the rim. Put back up at the buzzer and they'll give it to, let's see, John Hall. Well, that's the end of the uh, third quarter. The Mackey Miners, 51. They, uh, Show shown Indians 45. All right, 51 45, eight minutes of basketball remaining in this quarterfinal of the opening round of the A4 state tournament here at the College of Southern Idaho Gymnasium in Twin Falls, and it's been a dandy. Boy, the uh, Mackey Miners, they have played well here in this opening round. To start the uh, fourth quarter, show showing will inbound it on alternating possession. So eight minutes uh, of basketball remaining. As the uh, show showing Indians, Clinton brings it in. Messick, Messick, back to Clinton, underneath it goes to uh, Mindiaga. Shot no good, put back up uh, by Russ Swainston. 51-47, Miners 5-4, as uh, James has it on the left wing. Brad Rothwell drops in a 15-foot jumper from the left side baseline, a beauty. Rothwell now with uh, 12. All right, uh, Mendiaga, or Mendiola goes down offensive foul, picks up the third. 53-47, seven, 18 remaining fourth quarter as Anderson will inbound it for uh, Mackey. Pass comes in, James. Jeff James will walk it in the front court into uh, for the Mackey Miners. Ball taken away by uh, Messick. Ahead it goes to uh, no one as it's picked up by James. Gives back to Rosencrantz. Hughes was in the middle of that. Gives it back to Rosencrantz. Great save by James that time. Anderson. James top of the circle. Three-pointer, 25 feet. Oh, he bombed it in from 25 feet away. 56-47, 6:41 remaining. James hit one from downtown Twin Falls. Put back up and in by Russ Swainston. He now has uh, 19. 56-49, great shooting out here by both teams now, especially the Mackey Miners. Rothwell has it top of the circle. Looks for James underneath. Has the ball slapped away. Picked up by Swainston on the turnover. Six, uh, ten remaining. Messick comes down. Gives off to uh, Sandy. Back to Messick. Messick to uh, air ball. Put up by uh, Asiaga. Messick has it way out in front. Too hard off the back of the iron. Shoshone controlling the boards right now. Has Scheimer had it. And Messick. Travel. No, foul called on uh, Jim Messick. Offensive foul, that's about the fourth offensive foul on Shoshone. Tell you what, you don't run over the uh, Mackey Miners out there. As they'll, uh, they'll set themselves. There's Cody Schmidt back in the uh, lineup. 
James has it deep in the corner. Rotwell, Rotwell, back out to Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz here on the near side. James up and in with a three pointer. Another one by James. Boy, he is just shooting the eyes out of that basket now. Jeff James with 22. And the Mackey Miners up 59 49, 10 point lead. Then Shoshon wants a timeout. 5 32 remaining in this basketball game. Boy, did uh, Coach McKelvey. He has his Mackey Miners ready for the 22 and 2 Shoshone Indians, ranked number one in the uh, state of Idaho in the A4s. And the Mackey Miners, for three and a half quarters here, has played them right off of their heels. Boy, it's great uh, basketball in this A4 division. So the uh, Mackey Miners looking to take on the uh, winner of that uh, Wilder Castleford game, which was Wilder 74 46. So let's see. The uh, Shoshone Indians will inbound it. Pass comes in. Messick. Low post feed. Uh, Scheimer put back up. Swenson, uh, Swinston, his shot uh, good. He has 23 now. So he gets the rebound and puts it back in. 59 51. Eight point lead for the Mackey Miners. Swainston. Russ Swainston at the free throw line to try to complete the three point play. See, bucket was good. Free throw good. 59, 52, 423 remaining. Rosencrantz has it in backcourt. Breaks the uh, show show and press. Top of the circle with it. Lance, a great athlete at uh, Mackey. I don't have to tell you people. Rothwell on the far side. Boy, he's had a good game. Underneath, Rosencrantz pulls up six footer. Too hard off the back of the rim. Swainston with the rebound for Shoshone. Outlets to Messick. The corner it goes to Sandy underneath. Turn around as uh, Scheimer hits one high off the glass. 59 54. As Hughes has it, gives back to James. Jeff James. Great game uh, himself out there for the Mackey Miners. Rothwell. Rothwell has it stuck away. And oh, good call. A reaching in foul. That's Wallace had uh, James right. Or, Check that Rothwell right across the arms and the official right on top of the call. So Brad will go to the free throw line to shoot a one and one. Both teams in the bonus. 437 remaining fourth quarter. Mackey with a 59-54 lead. Opening round of the A4 state tournament here from Twin Falls. Rothwell shot up and in with a good shot. Boy, they needed that one. 60-54, six point lead. Seven now. See a uh, white see a uh, basketball dribbles it two or three times. I see a uh, hoop shot on its way. Good by Rothwell. Rothwell with uh, 14. 61 54. Messick top of the circle gives off to uh, Scheimer. His shot too hard off the glass as he lost his balance and James comes down with it. Rosen Prance, the playmaker with it out in front. Being checked off by Messick. Messick, uh, Rosencrantz uh, shot too hard off the back of the glass, and Rosencrantz going to pick up his fourth, a charging foul, I believe. Offensive foul on Rosencrantz. Fourth. So Shoshone will go the other way with it. As uh, the uh, Mackey Miners set it up now on the defense with uh, Rosencrantz on Messick. And boy, what a job he has done. Swainson shot too hard off the glass, but he was fouled. Was Rosencrantz. No, it was Brad Rothwell. Rothwell picks up his third. Jarvis checks in for uh, Sean Hughes in the uh, Mackey lineup. 
Russ Swainston. Swainston at the free throw line, rolls around, drops out of there. He'll shoot the second, the two-shot foul. Swainston ready. Second shot, good. 61-55. Four minutes exactly as Rosencrantz gives to James. Has it ball slapped ahead. Knocked uh, out of the hands of uh, Cranston. Or check that. They foul on Swainston. A reaching in foul on Swainston. He picks up his third, a reaching in foul. As I wanted to say Jarvis. Shane Jarvis at the free throw line for the Mackey Miners. 61-55 remaining in this basketball game. 3.58 on the clock. 62.55, the first one. Good by Jarvis. He'll shoot the second. Jarvis. So second shot too hard off the back of the iron. Wallace with the rebound. As uh, Messick has it, fakes up the shot. Has it underneath to uh, Scheimer. Scheimer shot too hard off the glass, but back up by Scheimer. It won't go, but we have a foul called, I believe, on James. It'll go on uh, Jeff James. He'll pick up his second. As the uh, show shown uh, Indians won a timeout. We'll do the same with 347 remaining fourth quarter. It's the Mackey Miner 62. The Shoshone Indians, 55. As the uh, Mackey Pep Band strikes up in the background. And that's a, uh, what you call a class act also. They, uh, excellent band, the Mackey Miners. The Miners with a 62-55 lead here in this very important opening round of the A4 State Tournament. With three minutes, 47 seconds remaining. And a seven-point lead by the Mackey Miners. So Mackey with uh, Schmidt, James, Jarvis, Rothwell, and Rosencrantz. In there now at the free throw line will be Rich Scheimer. Scheimer, this will be his first attempt from the charity stripe. He has eight points on four field goals. He dribbles the ball two or three times, eyes the basket. Shot on its way, good. He'll shoot the second. Rich. A 6 1 jigger. So Scheimer. Ready. 62-56. Free throw on its way. It's good. 62-57. Five-point lead as Rosencrantz has it. Gets it into front court being double teamed. Gets it over to James on the far side. James back to Rosencrantz being checked off by Messick. To Jarvis. To Cody Schmidt, way out in front as Coach McKelvey wants to run some time off of that clock. Jarvis starts his drive baseline off the glass too hard. Offensive foul on Jarvis. Jarvis picks up his third. 3.23 remaining. 62-57, five-point Mackey lead. And uh, Shoshan with it in the front court. Top of the circle, dumps off Wallace. Three-point try, short. James with the rebound for the Miners. Outlets to Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz being checked off in the backcourt by Meshick. Into the front court for the Mackey Miners. To Schmidt. Schmidt over to uh, Jarvis. James. James goes down the lane. Try to get it over to Rothwell, and we have a foul called on Mike Wallace. Up show shown. Going to the line will be Jeff James. Shooting a one and one, 2.54 remaining fourth quarter, 62.57. That's Wallace. Fourth. Yeah, fourth personal foul. As uh, Clinton Sandy checks in for uh, Wallace in the show shown lineup. Jeff James at the free throw line. He has 22 points. He is two of three, two of four, excuse me, from the uh, free throw line. First one too hard out the back of the rim. Swainston with the rebound for Shoshone. Gives to Messick. 
Messick has it there. Sandy has it slapped out of bounds. Last touched, uh, they say, Mackey. But now, let's see. They're going to have to jump it, maybe. No, they're not either. They're giving it to Shoshone. Shoshone, uh, Asiaga over to Messick. Messick, the far side, pulls up. Hurries one up. Air ball. Great job of defense by uh, Rosencrantz. Boy, he has caused uh, Messick nothing but problems out there. They dump it off to Jarvis on the far side. Jarvis pulls up underneath. Oh, it almost went in a basket as Rosencrantz has it, puts it up. And let's see who the foul was on. Rosencrantz is down. Oh, boy, that'd be a big loss. Rosencrantz playing on that uh, sore knee. Ford personal on Messick and uh, Coach McKelvey wants a timeout to check Rosencrantz out as Lance walking it off uh, out there as he went up with the shot. Jarvis tried to hit uh, Rothwell uh, underneath. The ball uh, popped off of Rothwell's hands and almost went in the bucket. Rosencrantz was there and as he was being fouled by uh, Messick and uh, flying out of bounds, he still put the ball up. He should go to the line shooting too. With 12, the Mackey Miners with uh, three and double figures. That's uh, James with 22, Brad Rothwell with 14, Rosencrantz 12, Shane Jarvis has eight, and uh, Sean Hughes with six. Great balance scoring by the Mackey Miners with 2:23 remaining, fourth quarter, and uh, Lance uh, Rosencrantz at the uh, free throw line for Mackey. Opening round of the A4 State Tournament. Rosencrantz dribbles that ball five or six times. He's ready. Free throw, first one, rolls around, pops out of there. Russ uh, Swainston with the rebound. Boy, he's had a bundle. As Mackey has missed their last uh, three free throws. Shot put up by Messick, no good. Rebound fought for, put back up by Scheimer, too hard. Rosencrantz is there and he is fouled. And I think Messick or Scheimer. Scheimer picks it up. That's his. He'll pick up his first personal. 62-57. Mackey with a five-point lead. Rosencrantz at the free throw line, shooting a one and one. Mackey has uh, missed uh, their last uh, three. Two of those, one and one. Rosencrantz readies himself. He is an excellent shooter. First one pops nothing but net. Boy, he really drilled that one. 63-57, 208 showing on the clock, fourth quarter. Boy, and a dandy here in this uh, A4 state tournament. Second shot by Rosencrantz. It's on its way. Good! So Rosencrantz buries two free throws, 64-57. Show shown cross court pass Asiaga his shot up Manin Ryan so uh, Soliaga yes as James loses it out of bounds on the turnover that's turnover number 12 on uh, Mackey 64 59 Mackey by five as the pass comes in Messick has a ball slapped away, picked up by Jarvis. Dumps it back to Rosencrantz. Lance in the front court with it. Messick on him. Dumps it to high post feed Schmidt. To uh, James. James shot, forces one up uh, short out the front of the rim, and uh, Scheimer with the rebound. Messick pulls up. Almost traveled with it. Gives it to uh, Soliaga. Throws it away or picked up by James on the turnover to Schmidt. Schmidt to Rosencrantz. Clock down to a minute 10. Five point lead by the Mackey Miners. Rosencrantz, top of the circle, gives off to uh, Jarvis. To uh, Schmidt. Back to uh, James. James to Rosencrantz. Clock down less than a minute now. 54, 53, 52. Schmidt holding it up in front as a. Uh, 
tried to foul Smith that time, but it wasn't called. And we have a foul now, a reaching in foul on Brian uh, Soliaga. With 45 seconds remaining, going to the free throw line, I believe, will be Brad Rothwell. Uh, Rothwell is perfect from the free throw line, four for four. So that's uh, not the one you want to foul. Brad with 14 points. Mackey up 64 59 five point lead for the miners of Mackey boy they have played a whale of a basketball game here win or lose great basketball here in this a4 state Rothwell's free throw short picked up by Swainston to Wallace Wallace to Messick now Jarvis is on him he forces one up short out the front of the rim James at the rebound reaching in foul on Russ Swainston and we'll walk it down to the other end boy Jarvis was just about swallowed the uh, Messick out there on defense that time man he was all over him and Messick and a desperation put one up it was short up the side of the rim James was there for the rebound and he was fouled by Swainston great defense by the Mackey Miners you just cannot say enough for the uh, Mackey's defense here this afternoon. James free throws, stored out the side of the rim. Boy, the free throws have hurt Mackey down the stretch here. Let's see if they can uh, pull on as Shimers pulls up six footer off the glass. Good. Shimers. As uh, James will go to the free throw line. All right, uh, Jeff, we need a couple right here with 19 seconds remaining. 64 61. Mackey with a three point lead. And uh, show shown the defending state champions, and boy, you know they're not going to give up. And we know because we have watched the uh, Mackey Miners uh, in the uh, football playoffs. We know they don't give up. Great basketball here this morning. As uh, who fouled? So, so Swainson, Russ Swainson, fouls out with the 19 seconds to go. Or check that. It was uh, five on uh, Messick. Messick at the free throw line. Jeff James. James at the free throw line. Now we need two right here. Big free throws by James. First one up on in. Oh, it rattled the rim and dropped through. 65-61. You got to get away from that uh, three-point lead because a bomb will tie you. And James just put him up by four. Make that five as he hits nothing but twine on that second one. 66 61. Wallace, three point try. God, as we mentioned, boy, three point. Just like that. Shoshone gets the ball back. Wallace puts it up. Off the front of the rim. Rebound fought for. Jarvis has it. Foul. Oh, boy. 66 64. Shane Jarvis on a big, big rebound for the Mackey Miners. We had just talked about the three-point bomb, and Wallace comes down and drops one in for Shoshone. 66-64, Mackey holding on to a two-point lead. Five seconds remaining. Shane. Big free throws right here for Mackey. Jarvis ready. Shot. God, as it rolled around the cylinder two or three times and dropped through. Three-point lead, 67-64. Jarvis uh, with nine. He could go into double figures right here. Second one. God by Jarvis, 68-64. Asiaga, three-point goal. No good. Mackey Miners win it. Mackey wins it. Mackey Miners beats Shoshone, 68-64. Great basketball game here. Opening round of the A4 state tournament. I'm going to turn it over to Paul Robinson. Okay, George. Uh, of course, this is one of those situations where he had pairings, and uh, two of the better teams in the state had to face, face each other here in opening rounds. And uh, the Mackey Miners, uh, they got it 68 64 over the Shoshone Indians. Let's take a look at scoring for Shoshone. They're led by Russ Swainson, who had 23 points. He had those on, let's see, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine field goals. And he was five of uh, seven from the foul line. But here's the key with Swainson. He had two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 
17 rebounds for 6'4 senior Russ Swainson. And then let's see, uh, Mike Wallace had 16 points on six field goals for those three point variety. He had uh, four fouls. Uh, Rick uh, Scheimer had 12 points on five field goals, two of two from the foul line, he had one foul. Jim Messick, uh, who fouled out with 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter, was held to only four points. He was two of four from the foul line, only had one field goal this morning, four points for Jim Messick. He fouled out with 19 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Brian Soliaga had seven points on three field goals, one and one in the foul line, two fouls. And uh, John Hall had two points on one field goal, no fouls. That's scoring for Shoshone Show Indians. For the Mackey Miners, let's see, uh, their leading scorer and uh, leading scorer in the ball game, unofficially Jeff Jones. We've got him with 24. Let's see, he had those on eight field goals, three of those three-point variety. And he was five of eight from the foul line. He had one foul. Then both Brad Rothwell and Lance Rosencrantz had 14 points. Rothwell had 14 on uh, five field goals, four of five in the foul line, three fouls. Lance Rosencrantz 14 on four field goals, one of those three-point variety. Let's make that five field goals, one of those three-point variety, and he's three of five in the foul line. He had four fouls. Shane Jarvis also in double figures with 10. He had the three field goals, one of a three-pointer, three of four in the foul line. He had three fouls. Uh, Sean Hughes, six points on three field goals, two fouls. And uh, uh, that's scoring for Mackey Miners. So uh, Mackey uh, moves in uh, in a winner's uh, in winner's bracket in this opening round. So uh, let's see, they'll play they'll play uh, tomorrow at uh, tomorrow night at uh, what 8:30, George? They play tomorrow night at what time? At uh, 6:25. Oh, 6:25. Okay, play tomorrow night at 6:25. So the final once again, Mackey.